What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already in good faith that I will continue bringing you great content. So, many of you guys had asked me to do a video with revolvers. So, this is my first revolver video. So you guys have to bear with me, all right? But I got a monster, a monster for you guys. Today, we're gonna be looking at the Smith and Wesson 629 Classic. Mm, mm, mm. This is a six and a half inch barrel. Look at this. This thing's a monster. So let me just let y'all know, I've only shot a revolver twice. The first time I shot a revolver, I was in Maryland and I went to a gun range there. And this was like, maybe four years ago, when I had absolutely no clue about guns. I didn't know how to hold one. I didn't know any type of safety rules, nothing, nada, zilch. And I happened to have a revolver to shoot. And I don't even remember that experience, honestly. So that's that. And this is the second time that I have shot a revolver. So... <laughs> I mean, just to assure you, I did not do this gun any justice. I think I shot about 15 rounds, maybe 16, um, and at about probably 10 yards away. And this is a man's gun. This is a beast, okay? It has six shots, and as you can see, it is empty, okay? Six shots. The double action is smooth. It is amazing. But the single action, the single action on this is probably better than any other single action gun that I've ever fired. Now, I don't know if it's because it's a revolver. I don't know if it's because the way it's made compared to a 1911 or a, um, I think I shot the Wilson Combat um, X9. Listen, all I know is again, this gun is empty. Single action was a beast. The best trigger, hands down, for me. I don't know if I can compare the two because again, I'm new when it comes to revolvers. So I don't know if you can compare this trigger to that of the guns that I mentioned or not. But all I know is that this single action was everything, okay? So let me just show you real quick since we're talking about it. Actually, I'm put it up here. So it's heavy and long, but it's smooth. Here we go. That's double action, I'll show you again. All right. Now for single action. <laughs> I'm excited because look how far back it is already. And many of you guys may know this. Um, you, I definitely know more than me when it comes to this revolver stuff, but check this out. Here we go. It's nowhere to go but forward. There is... <laughs> Soon as you put it back in single action, you're at the wall. There is no over travel. There is no little, you know, little squishy, squishy. There's nothing. It is at the wall. Any type of pressure is kaboom. All right, here we go again. Single. Look at this. Hold on. <laughs> here we go. I think, and I'm gonna see if I could find the clip for you. I think at one point I was shooting. I didn't know that I had my finger on the trigger. Of course, I was pointing down range, but I was trying to get used to the new grip that you have to have. I'm not used to gripping it this way. So I had to get used to the grip and I like accidentally put my finger right here as I'm trying to get my grip together. And it was like, boom! <laughs> My heart jumped out of my chest. I was like, what in the hell? This is crazy. But um, 
Man, and I felt that boom all through my body, okay? It almost felt like my hand was gonna fall off. Like, this probably should not have been the first revolver to shoot now that I know what I'm doing when it comes to firearms, as far as like safety and how to handle and things like that. I probably should have started off with like maybe a 38 Special or something chambered in nine millimeter because this kind of got me scared of revolvers now. I'm like, every time I look at a revolver, I'm giving it the side eye like, mm, what kind of boom it has behind it. But this rocked my entire body. Um, but I do like that it has bright red front post and the rear sights are blacked out, but it has like a little white trim around it. Kind of like, um, kind of like the rear sight of a Glock pistol. You know, they have like the little, um, looks like this little football goal with the white trim. That's how it looks, but for the most part, it's blacked out. And again, the red front post. So I was able to really get a nice sight picture. <clears throat> After shooting it for a while, which a while is 15 rounds for me. After shooting it for a while, um, I realized that it had a six o'clock hold because I wasn't sure if it was my grip or the power was intimidating. So I wasn't quite aiming where I was supposed to be aiming. And you will see it in the video where a lot of my shots are up or up and to the right. So by the time I figured it out, it was another guy. He's a range officer. He's really cool. He was at the range that I was at. And he was like, Liv, I think it has a six o'clock hole. And I was like, okay, try it. And he tried it. And when I tell you it hit dead in the center, it was dead in the center. But honestly, I didn't have any more desire to shoot this thing because at, this, at that point, my hand was numbed. But um, I was trying to get the grip, the the revolver grip, I was looking at, um, what's his name? Jerry, I don't wanna butcher his last name. Mitchlet? You know Jerry with the the super fast trigger finger. He's uh, sponsored by um, sponsored by Smith & Wesson. He was doing a video on how you should hold a revolver. So I was trying to get the, um, get the hold down, but I still felt like the muzzle flip was just so out of control that I was kind of a little scared after a while. And I was like, you know what, let me put this down. Let me know my limits. This might be out of my limits. Ladies, this might be out of your limits too. I, listen, I don't want to talk for you. I don't want to speak for you, but <sighs> this is a man's gun. And I like that if you look closely, you'll see that all the way down the uh, slide is serrated. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Um, but it minimizes glare so you can pick up that front post right away. I believe these are Hogue grips. I could be wrong, but they feel like the grips that are on my um, 1522. So I could be wrong, but they feel like... They feel like it and it's, it's rubber and it's sticky and they feel really comfortable. I don't particularly like the finger grooves because my fingers didn't always fit perfectly, but mainly my pinky for some reason it didn't fit perfectly. So I wasn't really feeling the finger grooves. They weren't necessarily uncomfortable, but I could have done without them. Um, what else can I say about this beauty? It's, uh, again, six and a half inches. It is double action, single action. Um, both actions are smooth as a baby's bottom. They, it, they really are. Um, and, you know, if you go hunting, this might be something that you will use. If you like to just go and shoot big guns in the woods, this is obviously an ideal gun. For me, it is a gun that if we're all at the range, it's like, hey, Liv, try this out. And then I'll boom, boom, and done. Like, I would never pick it up again. I won't pick it up for another year. I couldn't care less about it. That, But that's just me. That's how I am. And only because it's too much boom, it's too much vibration in my hand, 
is too much recoil and muzzle flip. I ain't trying to do all that. But for a lot of guys, I know that this is a beast for them. They love it. And I will say what I did appreciate, and this is a little minute detail, but on the hammer, if you see closely, it's it's like checkered. Um, It like protrudes a little bit. So it you're able to really you know, pull it down and it not get stuck at all. Let me show you how to trigger again. Again, it's empty. But yeah, I like the, um, the checkering on the hammer. I thought that was pretty unique. And if you notice, it has the Smith & Wesson banner right here. Nice little detail, also has it on the grip. Smith & Wesson, is, it doesn't just look classy. It's just a classic wheel gun. It really is. It's huge. And you know my hands are huge. It is huge. This thing is a monster. But anyway, oh yeah, I used, um, I used some Winchester White Box 240 grain ammo. And I still have some left. I can't shoot it. It's too much. I know some of you are out there are like, well, give it to me. I'll shoot it. <laughs> I can't. But anyway, um, these these uh, rare sites are adjustable. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, I want to say for, oh, I think for windage and elevation, in case you were wondering. But anyway, you probably know that already because I know you know more than me. But I wanted to bring it to you. I'm glad I got my hands on it. And hopefully, you know, you guys enjoy this video. Again, I don't think I did it justice <laughs> because it's my first time doing a video on a revolver, but I can certainly appreciate Smith & Wesson for the type of quality that this gun is made of. And I can appreciate Smith & Wesson for always just bringing out good firearms and being classic and just being something that everybody want to put their hands on. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and treating one another with kindness. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Peace.